Maharshi Vishwamitra was the son of Maharaj Gadhi. Due to being born in the Kush dynasty, he is also called Kaushik. He was a very democratic, sainted and a righteous king. Once, he along with his army went to the forest for hunting. There, they arrived at the ashram of Maharshi Vashisht. Maharshi Vashisht asked him about his well-being and that of his kingdom and requested him to accept his hospitality along with his army. Vishwamitra said, Lord, we have millions of soldiers with us. We are honored by the flowers and fruits you gave us. Now please allow us to leave. Maharshi Vashisht repeatedly requested him to accept the hospitality again and again. Listening to his request, Vishwamitra gave in. Maharshi Vishisht, with the help of his yoga power and calm dhenu, the wish-fulfilling cow, completely satisfied Vishwamitra along with his soldiers. Vishwamitra was amazed by the stunning effects of calm dhenu. He prayed to Maharshi Vashisht to give him calm dhenu. When Vashisht ji refused, he forcibly started taking calm dhenu with him. Millions of soldiers were generated by Kamdhenu. Vishwamitra's army fled and was defeated. Vishwamitra felt immense guilt and anger due to this. He renounced his throne. He went back to the forest and started rigorous penance to become a Brahmarishi. While doing penance, the obstacle of lust appeared in Vishwamitra's life in form of the celestial nymph Menaka. Leaving everything, he fell in love with Menaka. When he regained conscious, the remorse rose in his mind. He again engaged in rigorous penance and became perfect. After lust, anger also defeated Vishwamitra. King Trishanku wanted to go to heaven in his human form because it was against the laws of nature. Vashishtaji, who was his kul guru, did not accept to perform the desired yagna. Vishwamitra's penance was at its peak at that time. Trishanku went to Vishwamitra. Remembering his old enmity with Vashisht, Vishwamitra accepted to perform the yagna. All the rishis came to this yagna. But Vashisht's hundred sons did not come. Overcome with anger, Vishwamitra killed them. After realizing his grave mistake, Vishwamitra did penance again. And after conquering his anger, he became a Brahmarishi. Everything is possible with true dedication and continuous practice is what Rishi Vishwamitra proved to the world. Rishi Vishwamitra had the privilege of being the second guru to Lord Shri Ram. He was performing yagna in the Dandak forest. Rakshashas like Tadaka, Subahu and Marich, appointed there by Ravan, used to repeatedly create obstacles in his yagna. Vishwamitra ji came to know with the power of his penance that the incarnation of Supreme in the form of Lord Shri Ram who freed the world from fear, had taken place in Ayodhya. Then, for the protection of his yagna, he requested Maharaj Dashrat and brought Sri Ram along with him. Vishwamitra's yagna was saved and the Rakshishas killed. Vishwamitraji imparted his knowledge of weaponry to Lord Sri Ram and got him married to Mata Sitha in Mithila. Maharshi Vishwamitra remained an embodiment of efforts and penance throughout his life. He is still present in the Saptarishi Mandal. Astrologically speaking, when Jupiter is placed in the 12th house or his own sign of Pisces, such a Jupiter is known as Vishwamitra. A person having such a placement has many ups and downs in his life, especially related to lust and anger. Once the person realizes that, and takes concrete steps to work in that direction, the person becomes ready for an upward journey.